Hey everybody, Brian Brooks here from the Idaho Wildlife Federation. Welcome back to the weekly legislative recap where we talk about everything that moved through the legislature in the past a week that's to do with fish, wildlife, hunting, fishing, public lands, and access. And I try to talk to you about it as fast as possible so that you can get to enjoying your weekend. It might be one of the last updates I'm giving you guys is the legislature is trying to wrap up. They are working overtime and the governor is already signing bills. So I'm just going to dive right into it. First up, the two trapping bills that I've talked to you guys about over the last couple months, uh, the one that will provide the ability to buy a lifetime trapping license and the other one which provides a temporary uh, fur buying license for non-residents. Uh, both were signed by the governor this week. Uh, Senate Bill 1017, the uh, bill that would allow for a two-year invasive st sticker, a two-year invasive species sticker to be put on your watercraft uh, was signed by the governor. That's a good bill. Uh, Senate Bill 1021 was signed by the governor. Unfortunately, this is uh, the, the Priest Lake bill that gives the legislature sign-off power to, to approve or deny any modification to the outflow control structure on Priest Lake. Very local, very targeted bill. Uh, we don't support this bill because even after a years-long consensus building uh, collaborative um, group process, which is actually starting to take place now, one person may not like it, even if they didn't participate and could be a spoiler and go tell a legislator that they don't want uh, this thing to happen. And that could sort of uh, toss out weeks uh, or sorry, years of collaboration among local groups. So um, unfortunately, that bill was signed by the governor. Next up, we have Senate Bill 1049. This is the bill, the, the intent of which is to have better enforcement for bad behavior on state lands. Especially with COVID, people have really been getting out to the wild landscapes. They've been tearing up, going off roads, tearing up the habitat. They've been having uh, illegal fires, dumping, all that kind of stuff. And the problem is right now, although that stuff is all illegal, the minimum bar for, for that bad behavior was a misdemeanor. So a lot of judges were kind of tossing that out because that's a pretty strict uh, uh, conviction and charge. So uh, this lowers the first offense and kind of creates a scaled um uh, approach to um, this bad behavior and hopefully it does result in better enforcement. However, some LEOs have uh, expressed concerns with some due process issues written into the bill and so we hope that those would be addressed next year to actually make it so this bill can uh, get to its intent of better enforcement of bad behavior on state lands. Lastly, we have Senate Bill 1143. This is the shed hunting bill. It passed out of House Committee. It's already gone through the Senate, passed out of House Committee this week. And this is a bill we support. Remember, this does not set any regulations, does not set any restrictions or seasons. It only adds language to Idaho code that allows fishing game to engage in the process similar to season setting for big game where they can solicit public comment and information from sportsmen and they can figure out what really might work. By all indications, it sounds like this will not be there. They will not want anything similar to seasons as we know them with hunting uh, big game. It will be very highly targeted geographically and only on years where there's really bad snowfall to protect our wintering herds from pressure. And uh, some interesting comments came out of debate. A lot of legislators in Eastern Idaho are already hearing complaints of shed hunters from Utah trespassing to find sheds. One guy said that there is a, a shed hunter behind every tree over in Eastern Idaho right now. And and those deer and elk have like three feet of snow they're contending with and uh, no access to green up. So uh, we support this bill. We support that uh, rulemaking process involving sportsmen. We'll let folks know when they have the ability to weigh in and shape what this could look like for Idaho. We look forward to that conversation. That's it for me. I hope you guys have a great weekend.